I didn't sign up for this. I can't believe that I slept with a rapist. I'm so worried about her. She's not even taking my calls. A shame, man. Mali must be really going through a lot after her breakup with Saul, eh? Yeah. Do you think you could reach out to her for me? Oh, what do you mean? If she's not taking your calls, why would she take mine? I mean, you two hit it off. Please try. Yeah, eh? <laughs> Bali was amazing with helping me, you know, after Nomalan. So I'll give her a call. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Bongi. I'll let you know how it goes, okay? Bongi, how are you, sis? Long time, are you okay? I'm fine. How are you? Ah, I'm, I'm all good here. Yeah? Girl, you don't have to pretend with me, you know. Mujerile told me about what happened with Hubandile. We're really worried about you, girl. You know, at least if Groove was open, I could just go to the club and dance all my sorrows away. Now my liquor is finished and the ban on alcohol is back. It's like... Yeah, a lot of people are pissed off about the ban. But I get it, you know? I mean, hospitals have less alcohol-related admissions. There's pressure on hospitals, so they can focus on COVID cases better. Yeah, yeah. And besides, somebody, you know alcohol doesn't take the pain away, right? Whatever, man. Yes, maybe I should just go have drinks with a friend. Yes, Massive has been calling. Massive? No, as in Joe Massive. Yeah. Joe Massive. Be Joe Massive. Yeah. Girl, you lie. Like, <laughs> I like that guy so much. You know, the last house track he produced was trending everywhere. And the show he hosts. That guy is really amazing. Yeah. Okay, Groovy. I mean, I was just on his page. <laughs> Cat. You know him? Yeah, we go way back. For real? He has like a million followers. Yeah, well, he, I'm not just a follower. He's my G. We go way back. We're from the same hood. Anyway, we were hanging out before testing positive for COVID ruined my vibe. And he's been calling me over for drinks. Maybe I should just go. No, buddy, please. I, I think you should carry on isolating. Come on, Bongi. Bali, just because you're not showing symptoms it doesn't mean you can't spread it. Well, I mean, but we were already... I hope he tested since the last time he hung out with you. Oh my goodness, Bongi, can you calm down? He's young, I'm young. We're not going to get sick because of COVID. Nonsense. Bali, anybody can get sick when they have COVID. And even if you don't get sick, you can infect someone else and that person can just... Goodness, Bongi, can you just relax? You're actually making me even more miserable with this lecture of yours. You are bye bye sis. Hey, we say sorry I missed your call. How far now? Mm. <laughs> well, I no deal. I want to resign from my job. What's happened? Oh boy, it'll be so one patient for me to finish you. Now my guy can come and say, ah, make a call, clean and move. Talk. Now my rich day finish. I begin to do my work, JJ. I clean everywhere, I shine everywhere, where I say. Now in this, in this patient is going to disrespect me on top. Talk for nothing, though. What in the patient talk say so you do now? I don't know. Nothing. Just because I be cleaner. Why are they going to look down on cleaner now? See, we say. You know, feed they allow all these things they get to you now. You know, feed. I mean, it was just one person out of many. See, see, AB, AB, you don't understand this thing. You know, you, you, you know, get them. Guy, I'll be frontline worker now. Uh uh. You're supposed to treat me respect because say, I didn't put my life on the line like all them doctors and nurses. You know, maybe you should just talk to your boss instead of resigning. No, no, no. No need. See, this matter don't claim me, say, they don't respect me again for this job. I don't even close my Waski channel self and I go soon to down forever. Ah, uh, why now? I want to know whether one of my fans go fully embarrass me one day. <sighs> you see, this is your channel and it's a very good thing that you've achieved. And there are so many positive things that you can do with it. Not delete them, I beg. 
push her. But this is a guy. Since I could Google, resign from my job, make her just leave the channel like that now. Okay? Yeah, that's true. Just, just calm down, okay? Calm down on this resignation matter. You don't have to throw it all the way because one person disrespected you in the hospital now. This is your cleaning job, yeah? It's an honest work. An honest job, and that's all that matters. Okay? Oh yeah, and I was thinking, um, after we finish setting up, like, um, can we roll out the publicity? Publicity? Uh, that sounds serious. No, actually, it's quite simple. I just make a poster image for you and then you take a picture of yourself with your masks and your, uh, I think your face beaded or something like that. Face beat, limo. <laughs> it's called face beat. Yeah, yeah, okay. You just post it, get your followers to repost it. Oh yeah, and they must add uh, popular hashtags as well. And yeah, that's publicity. Okay, I get it. Oh, and also try and do more interactive stuff like um, if you have new followers, get them to tag five of their friends and then they get something in return. They can get like a small prize. Prize. Limo, I'm trying to grow a business and make money and you want me to give away things when I haven't even started. I mean, yeah, I know, maybe like a, a small prize, like maybe one mask or one free bottle of that nail paint thingy. Nail paint. Limo, am I painting a house? Am I interior decorator? No, it's called nail polish. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. Okay, just, just do the giveaway. It'll attract more people to your page and I see it all the time. And your followers will feel special, like a part of your brand. I'm feeling that, I really am. And always try and get your followers to add hashtag Babe in their comments and in their posts. That way you get more visibility. Is this limo using big words like visibility? You sounding all serious. <laughs> I like this. I really, really like it. I actually feel like Pajazzo Babe is in very good hands with you. <laughs> Thank you, limo. <laughs> Man, I am so tired. I'm just stressing over this Lego strip. Guy, I'm even hearing that people are not wearing their mask in Lagos, so they're just letting it dangle from their ear. Can you imagine? See, I've seen a few pictures on social media myself. It's scary. I'm not even going to lie. Well, my trip is not set in stone, but I'll decide soon. Well, me, I'm sure Popsy and your siblings will be happy to see you, Sha. And so will I. Popsy, I can't wait to see you. And speaking of parents, how's your mom? Um... What's wrong? Fah, see, forget about mom, see, Jerry. Uh, it's not gonna work between me and her. What? What do you mean? I mean, she's not ready to accept me. And I, I, I won't compromise either. But forget it, Jerry. I, I don't want to... Khalil, I would just be worried and I won't even know what I'm worrying about. <sighs> She's not happy that I'm dating you. Huh? Yeah, it's a long story, and I don't want to go into it. She wanted me to choose between you two, and I chose you. Khalil, Khalil, you can't be serious. You choose me how? Far, she was never there for me. And now she's giving me ultimatums because of her own prejudice. Hell no. Khalil, listen to me. I know how important your relationship with your mom is. You... I can't let you lose her again. You have to unchoose me. I, I do not understand. I thought you'd be happy. How can I be happy knowing that I'm standing in between you and your mom? <laughs> but you're not. I'm the one who made the decision. I chose you. And maybe it was too quick. Kalio, think about it. How can we both be happy together if you make me the reason you won't see your mom anymore? <sighs> I have to go now, Kylo. Please just sort things out with your mom. Uh...
Please, baby, just reach out to him. He needs support. Babe, I tried. Listen, yesterday I had a piece to deliver, right? The one with uh, pepperoni and, and double cheese that him and I like. I asked him to come out of his room, and he still made me leave it outside his bedroom door. Again. You got to do more. Go with him to the public hospital to get his ARVs. Didn't you say that the teleclinics deliver? Most do, but none in your area. Look, the public hospital is perfectly fine for picking up meds. You need to tell that to him. I have. And I even told him that there's no evidence that him being HIV positive makes him more vulnerable to COVID. But you can't minimize people's fears. Even when they're unrealistic? COVID is scary, OK? I wish I could just take you on tour of our ward so you can see just how real this is. Look, I know how real it is. Okay, I wouldn't be this mask on, sanitize all the time kind of guy if I didn't. Ah! But look, I'm still here at work because I know that I can conduct myself in the world if I just do what I gotta do. And Antoine should be the same. My love, for him, it's not just about being scared to get COVID. He's also trying to avoid being stigmatized. He's been living with HIV for a while now. I mean, yeah, it's terrible that people still talk smack about others with the virus, but I'm sure he's worked out how to handle it. Can you just be a bit sensitive? He's used to going to the small private health center where everybody knew and respected him. Well, change is a part of life, and he needs to get that. I can't just baby him. How is he supposed to get over this fear if I do? Ah, he needs to man up. That's what he needs to do. No, you need to human up. That's what you need to do. Zama again. Every time she has a new follower, she must call me. You got to into this. Answer. Limo! <laughs> Limo, you will never guess how many followers I have now. Um, I don't have to. I can see on your page. A hundred followers. One, zero, zero. This is incredible. I'm famous. <laughs> yeah, famous. That's what it is. I was on 81 when I woke up. This is insane. I'm viral. I should actually check if I'm trending. <laughs> what? Oh, no. Nothing. Q said something stupid. Thank you so much for helping me set up my social media limo. I already have this one girl who DM'd me for a face mask. <laughs> I'm gonna be a billionaire. Like Rihanna, Beyonce, Zamo. Same, same. Right, but now the trick is to um, track what content is giving you the best response. Oh, it was the makeup tutorial I posted last night. You see, there you go. Now you just need to find a way into making that into cash. Maybe by selling the makeup you use in the video. Okay. Okay, I get that. But that one mask DM, uh, it's not going to be enough. You really need to push on that. <sighs> I don't know how I'm going to do that. I don't think I'll be able to sell enough. Don't give up. You just started. Interact with your fans when they leave comments. When they drop heart emojis, post more pictures, post more videos, and make people feel like they know you personally. Where did you learn all of this, Limo? Lockdown had me on social media 24 7, so I picked up on a few things. Wow. Once you're done with high school, you should go into brand management, Mr. PR exec. <laughs> the food is not bad, it tastes good. It's just. Are you even listening? Sorry, cuz I'm so sorry. I was just checking how my followers are. I'm here. Yeah, I was saying I prefer to make my own food. We have this roster here at the shelter where we take turns making food for each other. It's great. I'm not complaining. I'm really grateful for the shelter, but I think it's time I find my own place. Of course, of course, cuz. Yeah, I've never made my own money. I went from parents' care to toxic guys care and that toxic guy and now the shelter. I wanna stand on my two feet now. Uh, can you afford it though? No. And jobs aren't exactly abundant with COVID out here. Ugh. Maybe I should try, you know, supermarket telejobs or something online. But at least I might not be paying for the rent alone. Yeah? Yeah, my high school best is trying to move here from Botswana. If she can, then we'll shake up together. The one you were so sad about mid matric that she had to leave. Rusty. Bokang. Ah man, that was heartbreaking. Anyway, I reconnected with her. Snab. 
I should actually call her. Can I call you later? Later, guys. Let me see how my page is going. Tell Bagang to follow me. Hi, bestie. Hey, did I interrupt your workout? No, I just finished. Perfect timing. You know, I thought I'd be miserable with gym closing down, but I'm actually killing these home workouts. Today I did my legs and my abs because listen, this girl has to get her body Josie City lights ready. <laughs> All right. How's the hustling going? Girl, with that 15 bucks an hour at the clothing store, you and I will be house meeting in 2022. No, no, B. We need to make this happen now. I know. I mean, I love Botswana with all my heart, but how am I supposed to become a famous and fabulous model dancer extraordinaire in such a small country? Personally, I think you can make it anywhere in the world. But if it's SA you want, then come get it. Mm, and I'm coming. It'll be just like old times, but better. Because girl, I haven't had a friend have my back the way you do since. And sure, adulting has been real. Tell me about it. I've had some pretty dark days. What happened? Um, just adulting. <sighs> well, let's adult together then. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Skim! Yeah, Skim! Bali, my love, how are you doing? Are you over that stupid boy? <sighs> I'm getting there. <sighs> just forget about him, okay? You'll find someone better that's gonna treat you like gold. All right, forget about this trash in these streets. All right, you know I got mad love for you, right? I know, Skim, I know. Listen, I'm about to go on a live. <clears throat> Are you okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm fine, it's just the, the flu, you know, winter things. But, nothing a little glass of whiskey can't fix. And speaking of whiskey, how about you come here and help me clear these drinks? All right, I've got bottles and bottles and bottles here. I need you, come on. Mm, I'm still isolating. And I think you should too. I mean, we were hanging out before I tested positive. You were exposed. <clears throat> Bruh. Uh, what? My, my chest is just a bit tight, okay? Because of the hectic session I just had. All right? I'm trying to get my body in check. I'm not trying to get a lockdown belly, all right? Now, will you get onto this live with me? <laughs> Shouldn't you at least be resting, though? I mean, what's with this nursey, nursey aunt friend of mine? And what happened to my firecracker friend? Where are you? Hello? Hi, but what do you mean, Joby? I'm here. I'm here, boy. I'm here. Exactly, that's more like it. Thank you, homie. Now, can we do this thing? Can we? Right. What's up, Massive family? It's your boy, Massive Man, because no one else can. And what's good, everybody? I've got my friend, Mbali Maidali, on the line. What's up, buddy? Say what's up to the fam. Hey, Massive fam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Massive fam. <laughs> I've got a little difficulty recognizing my friend today because she's been on my case about this whole corona rubbish that she's been fed. But it's actually a real thing, Massive. I know it's real. All I'm saying is that we're young, we're fresh, we're healthy. All right, we're going nowhere and neither are you. You've got nothing to worry about. Yeah, but people are actually getting sick and actually dying. My heart truly goes out to the frail. It really does. But I mean, as long as you're not hanging out with some old ass person that is terminally ill, you've got nothing to worry about. Massive. Mbali, come on, dog. I mean, just the other day, we were in my balcony, passing around hugs and kisses, sipping on some drinks. You can't sip with a mask on, all right? If you're with your crew, masks don't matter. I'll say it after me, all right? Massive family and you, Mbali. If you're with your crew, masks don't matter. Matter. When you're with your crew, masks don't matter. That's precisely my point. All right? Get with the program. Thank you, Frances, and welcome to the discussion, Far. Hello, guys. Sorry I'm late. 
Oh, it's no problem, Fai. It's just one minute. All right, so as I was speaking of earlier, I said I was a little bit surprised that I was invited to host this discussion because I think that I'm part of the problem because it is my kind perpetuating gender-based violence. On the contrary, for that very reason you mentioned, men must take an active part in the fight against gender-based violence. You know, so that men start looking into the reason why some become abusers in the first place and now seek to change that. Absolutely. It affects us all. And if we must find a solution to this endemic, we all need to play a part, men and women. Exactly. It is a collective fight. You know, and men need to learn that they do not have a right to women's body. And they also need to unlearn whatever that they were taught that made them think that they do. I hear you. It is important for us to question how men who abuse grew into being that way. I would like to think that nobody was born violent. It started from somewhere. Mm -hmm. Sometimes all that aggression is as a result of upbringing and sometimes maybe even peer pressure. But that doesn't absolve men from having to take responsibility. Definitely. Uh, so let's open this up. Do we have any male viewers that want to share their experiences with us? Is there anybody that grew up thinking that treating women badly makes you a real man? We have a call already. Who's there? I know you. Abby's friend. Yeah, we were all schoolmates. What's up? What would you like to tell us? See, all this grammar won't have the blue. Make I just break and down for now. Okay. When I was a boy, uh, you know, if you show small signs, say you get emotions like this, people go they look you say they weak, you know. And me, I know I make people they laugh me anyhow. So I, 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 I guess they form hard guy, hard guy, hard guy. You get. But now. I don't realize, see, I don't mess up gun. And many people they will be say I don't offend. You get so I can't even think um say say what I mean. You think me say I guess that's a question only you can answer. I I I start to work for hospital and I don't they see good example of how to be responsible. But I be cleaner. And if they do me like say, people they always look down on me because of that. You get. But my friend, they be been telling me one thing. He tell me, say, see me, I know they look at that one. You get. See me, I just go another level. See me, I just do my work. You understand? Yo, he's totally right because you're making an honest living and that's what really matters. I don't decide now, say, I'm not going to vex anyhow. Or make her do things where they make people they feel bad. You know, like say make it a powerful woman anyhow, you know, all that kind of thing. Uh, you know, make sense. You're right, Wesley. Right now in my life, I don't want to be tied down to one relationship. So for me, casual dating was just perfect. I found it liberating. I still do. Okay, liberating is good, but with a bunch of partners, I hope condoms make an appearance, B. Of course, yo, no, I don't play those games. I used condoms, prep, I went the whole nine yards, friend. Prep, I know it. Well, that's a good choice, B. And you know what, better safe than sorry. So, are you dating anyone? Casually, I mean. I wish. Lockdown has just stolen my life. Before COVID, I could just go to a bar, pick up a guy, and boom, I'm sorted. But now, oh, COVID is just ruining things for us single Pringles. I live there by sexual starvation, and I hate it here. <laughs> um, well, hopefully things will get back to normal. I'm crossing my fingers and everything else. <laughs> oh, B. <laughs> Look, I know I'm not your favorite person right now, but please can you just hear me out? 
I'm really sorry I was so mean to you when all you did was just warn me about Saul. Um, uh, it's no worries. Let's just let bygones be bygones. Thank you. So, do you still do those masks, the bedazzled ones? Yeah, do you still want one? I want a hundred, actually. Ngembel? Yeah, I want to do a giveaway. Masking up is very important right now. Ah, ah, definitely, definitely. But you're going to have to come get them. Do you mind that? No, 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 not at all. I saw on your page that I have to pick up from your door, zero contact. We're good. Ciao. <laughs> this is awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mbeli. This massive order is going to save my business. You've got no idea. I'm really glad to hear that. Thank you, Mbeli. Thanks again. No, Zamor. Thank you. Honestly, I mean that. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Bali, my daddy. What's up, Skim? Listen, all that stuff about master and matter, that was so wrong. And I just sat there and went along with you on your bullshit. Like, I, I feel so stupid and so should you. Come on, Bali, enough with that COVID hype nonsense now, right? Please. Dude, I have COVID. I tested positive not long after I was with you. You need to get tested too. <sighs> Dude, just relax, okay? <coughs> Look at yourself. You're worse than you were yesterday. I'm fine, dude, okay? I told you, it's just the flu. Aaron, you have COVID, buddy, and you're just fine. You're not sick, which proves my point exactly. And dude, I mean, come on. Hashtag Master and Matters trending number one, baby. Tell me. Angina and Daba isn't a trend down Jenga Manch. People are dying. And yes, some people are asymptomatic like myself. But look at yourself. <coughs> you need to go to a hospital immediately and get tested. Please stop being mm. ridiculous. I'm begging you. I can't go to the hospital, my friend. You know that I'm gonna get stampeded by my fans. And I can't go to a private hospital either because, uh, well, I don't have medical aid and I'm, I'm broke. Really? Yeah. I know that things, <coughs> <clears throat> Things may look flashy and all, but the reality is that there's just no money. COVID took away my regular gigs, and um, the show that I host is shut down because of lockdown, so I'm only living off sponsors, you know, the clothing and the booze. But in terms of money, <sighs> I don't have any. Oh, Chumi, don't you even have, like, savings? Well, it's not like I knew that lockdown was going to happen, Bali, so no, I don't have any savings. In fact, um, in the Nayo is a couple of hundreds of rands. Ilofe Brown, Yasonga. Amatsu Elamabini. And the two liter Amasa Frigin. I know, I'm a mess. <laughs> Massive, I'm so sorry. I, I had absolutely no idea, friend. I didn't know. It's okay. I'll just have to spend my money better next time, you know? Lesson learned. Okay, guess what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna send you some money, and then I need you to go and get tested ASAP. Right? After that, you go and you buy yourself some groceries, and then whatever's left, you keep in the bank, just in case. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. And, Tommy, please just stop with that mask don't matter. It's... It's dangerous for you, for me, and everyone. Oh, I really like the second one. Look at all that light. Gorgeous. Mm, but the first one has bigger rooms. I don't really care about the light. Girl, who would want to live in a dark and danky place though? Trust me on this one. Mm, I don't know. Maybe we need to keep looking? Fine by me. But hey, I must admit, your enthusiasm's lit fire under my bum. I need to stop looking at this place as home. 
and really start to look into the next phase of my life. Yeah, I mean, I'm always thinking about my next move. I don't know, maybe it's the performer in me, but I'm just always about new experiences. I still and will always think BOTS is the best place on earth, but it's just time for newness. Sure, but I don't want you to think Jersey's paradise. It's tough here, and COVID's made it even tougher. I still want it. And I think there may just be light at the end of this here tunnel. Really? How bright? <laughs> bright like a diamond. Okay, so there's this guy I met a few months ago at a charity gig my mom organized. Stinking rich. He's some mining magnet. He's all up in my DMs and he's pretty persistent too. Why do I sense a bud coming up? Well, he's quite old. How old? <laughs> my mom's age? Well, God, no. But if I squint really, really badly, he looks like he could be Denzel Washington's distant cousin. <laughs> Girl, now you're reaching. I know, but I reckon if I date him for just a few weeks, you and I will have enough money to move into that flat. I'd be a fool to pass that up. No, oh, you'd be a fool if you even consider it. Why? Because it's just my gut feeling. It says it's a bad idea. Well, your gut needs a chill pill. Sounds foolproof to me. Listen, Bokang, I have a friend who got caught up with an older man. She thought she had everything under control. Next thing is forcing her to have sex without a condom. He paid for everything and for her family back at home. So trust me, you don't want to go that route, Bokang. Well, I'm not like your friend. And I actually have my shit together. Just imagine us waking up in our own flat. It'll be so much fun. There's this other friend who got involved with a guy she thought was a sweetheart. He also paid for everything and treated her extra special until he started controlling her every move. He beat her up, Bokang. And she made excuses for him. It took her everything to get out of that relationship. So do not take money from men, Bokang. It never ends well. Never. Tineo. What the hell? Um. Oh, Mom, I know she was in that data she could still call me right now. Your sister's still really pick my calls. Maybe she don't follow you talk anything. Nothing. You know, I even tried to speak with her the other day. She just shut me down so fast. <sighs> Sorry, Baba. But, but what are we going to do now? The, the guys be weak to convince her. Uh, I hate to say this, but... Far really changes her mind. You know, maybe it's time you just give up. You did joke, Abby. <sighs> okay, this is the thing. Family is everything to Far. And she would not want to be the reason you don't have a relationship with your mother. No matter how much she cares about you. But what about what I want? Abby, I'm not guessing for this kind of matter. She's more stubborn than a donkey. <laughs> That's far for you. But I need her. See, me and Fa, we don't did it for each other. I, I, I know if he's talking the same thing about my mom, see? You know what? Uh, maybe there's one more thing we can try. A hundred masks deep. Like, who knew how things so would bring such rewards? Bali is my new favorite person. I'm going to be able to save my salon. 
I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, this is amazing, guys. I'm so happy for you. I can't stop smiling. Like, my face is even starting to hurt, but I don't care. A hundred masks, D. God is so good. Yeah, you needed some good news, man. Lockdown has been rough. Yeah. What's wrong? I just realized that I don't know how the hell I'm going to do 100 masks that quickly. Ah, oh, man, that's easy. With my help, of course, I'll come over in my mask and we'll social distance nicely in the backyard and make your mask while listening to the Yanos. <laughs> Dee, are you going to come help me? Really? Yeah, but don't look too happy because you're going to pay me for my services. No problem. Fine, done. I think I should actually pay Limo something as well because he really, really helped me with my website. Mm, that kid has done the most. I mean, you have a whole brand because of him. I know. Like, I couldn't have done it without him. Now that schools are closed, I think I should officially hire him as like my tech guy slash brand manager. That way, he can make money and stay out of trouble because kids with too much time on their hands get themselves into trouble. Yeah, that's a great idea. And I'm sure he'll love that. Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure you want to do this? We can always chat later. No, 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 no. I'm cool. I'm cool. We can talk. <sighs> okay, so, um, I managed to find a, <clears throat> a private lab and got some tests done. I was so weak, I couldn't even walk up the stairs, Kim. Every time I coughed, the driver would give me skiff looks the whole drive. <clears throat> that sounds really rough. It is. Like every time I coughed, he had sprayed sanitizer in the air. Once he dropped me off, I swear he sped off so fast I saw sparks under his car. Skim, you don't look too good, eh? Suddenly all of this has become so real. You know, when I was at the lab and I got tested, I, I realized that I could have corona. Shit is real out there, Mali. Okay. We have to concentrate on, on positive things. <sighs> oh. I can't even taste or smell anything anymore. It's just... It's just weird. Kempel. I'm for real. I mean, the one minute I could smell something, and the next I couldn't. I don't know what... My lungs feel like glass. God, I know, Chomi, I know. But we need to stay positive. <coughs> and I really hope I didn't infect you. I would never be able to live with myself if anything happened to you. I'll be fine, Skip. I'm not going anywhere. And so, as you know, I'll soon be doing my mask giveaway to you, my loving, loyal followers. But I thought I should first introduce to you the talent behind the masks. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, meet the Divalicious designer, Zamor. Welcome, Zamor. What's good, sis? You know what? It has been tough, but you got to do what you can. And that is why I started my business, Pajazzle Babe. That is at Pajazzled Babe on all social media. All right. Yeah. Um... It's small efforts, but it's putting one foot in front of the other. Corona's taught me not to be hard on myself and to appreciate the little things. All our lives have been turned upside down. But the only way we can beat this is if we band together and help each other out. I couldn't agree more, Zamo. And this is a perfect example. I mean, I'm here chilling with you and your hundreds and thousands of followers. So it could really, really help me push my business at Bajazzle, babe, and get more followers. So I'm very excited and I'm very grateful for this. Oh, well, if it wasn't for me, it definitely would have been somebody else. Your masks are awesome. People need to know about them. Thank you. 
<laughs> thank you so much mbali so you all heard it from her the one and only mbali it is mm -hmm. at bejazzled babe on all social media platforms at bejazzled babe one word don't you forget it <laughs> All right, bejazzled babe, I think they got it. So you're one of those enterprising types, making employment for yourself during the age of COVID-19. Well done to you. And did I mention how gorgeous and stylish they are? So glam. I mean, you could wear them with a ball gown and they wouldn't be out of place. There's truly a mask for every occasion. I try, I really try. And big ups to you, Mbali, for supporting my business at Bejazzled Babe. A lot of people can't afford to buy their own masks, so this could actually be saving lives. Well, you heard it here first. Then that brings us to the end of our riveting interview. Thank you so much for tuning in, my lovelies. Now, the first hundred peeps to DM me get a free mask. Now, don't say I didn't tell you. Until next time, say bye, Zamo. Bye, everybody. And don't forget, it is at Bejazzled, babe, on all social media. Yay! I'm still recovering from your friends and their horror Malome Bay stories. I know. Scary stuff, man. That said, I just got a call from Josebo. Who's Josebo again? The mining magnet I told you about. Why would you do that? After everything I said, Bokang. <sighs> Look, I, I had every intention of of ignoring him, but he found out where I lived and he dropped off the most exquisite pair of shoes I've ever seen. I don't care. You would if you saw them. It's those distinctive ones with the colored bottoms. I cooked breakfast in them this morning and yo, I felt like, you know, one of these fancy housewives of what what. Oh, come on. I mean, I would have been rude to not at least say thank you. I wasn't raised by wolves, Dineo. What you should have done is taken them back, Bokang. This is how they trap you. Well, I don't feel trapped. In fact, I feel liberated. If I'm smart about this, I could actually make it work for me. I just need to make sure that I'm always the one in control. And once I've gotten enough money out of him, I'll just dump his old wrinkly ass and move to SA with you. You sound so dumb right now. <laughs> no. Your friends just didn't know how to play the game. That's why they got burnt. Those friends I was telling you about. Well, it was me, Bokan. Those horrible things happened to me. And you know where I'm staying now? At a woman's shelter because I got out of that abusive relationship a few weeks ago. Oh my word, Dineo, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry for being a bitch about this. I also thought I knew how to play the game, Bokang. I thought I had it all figured out, but that's not how it works. He has all the power, meaning he has all the control. You'll always come out a loser until you don't know who you are anymore. Okay, I hear you. I'm done with that old man. Done. I promise. What's up, massive people? <laughs> <coughs> it's your boy, massive man, because no one else can. So I've got a bit of bad news for everyone today, and that is uh, that I've tested po positive for COVID-19. Um, I know it's a bit of a shocker for everyone. It's a shocker for me too. You know, I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. But uh, fear not, because Joe Massive will be back and stronger than ever, you know, stronger than some funny flu. 
So, um, you know, I'll be causing a ruckus in no time, you know, just, just the way you guys like it. <laughs> <coughs> oh. oh, sorry about that, guys. Um, but in all honesty, I'm, I'm feeling a lot better already. So I'm hopeful that in no time I'll be able to beat this thing. You know, I'll be back to my old self. Eh? So I'll catch you guys on the flip side. You guys take care of yourselves and remember, you remember, stay, stay massive. <laughs> any questions about COVID-19, text the word COVID to plus four one seven nine eight nine three one eight nine two on WhatsApp. For more information about coronavirus or related issues, visit mtvsugar.com forward slash alone together. Terms and conditions apply.